Um, I'm really not into the self-promotion, so I wasn't even going to talk about my book. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you about some great things that's happened in my, in my life in the, the last year. When I had an Achilles tear in 2010, you know, I was fighting back to get back on the court. But guess what happened? I suffered another tear of my Achilles. So I was frustrated, I was angry, and I gave up. I was like, I'm done. I don't want to play again, it's fine, I'll just move on to, to something else. Then my mentor, Tony Gaskins, he, he comes to me, he's a life coach, he's like, listen, I'm telling you, you have an unbelievable story. You need to share. I'm saying, ah, I told my agent I wanted to write a book three years ago, and they told me mental health books don't sell. And I got into a big argument with him. I'm like, my book is not about mental health, it's about a journey. I've been able to do some amazing things. You know, first of all, overcome my environment. Secondly, to talk about my recruiting, my, my relationship, my, my, my ties. This is an unbelievable story. So guess what happened? I wrote that book. I took that year off. I wrote it myself. I had an editor work with me because I wanted, you know, I had to make sure it was proper because I don't want people talking about me. <laughs> but I wrote that book myself and I sent it in. I sent it in to, you know, some people. I sent it in to the New York Times. And one of the um, writers there read it and told me that I hit a home run. And they're going to feature me next Monday, this upcoming Monday in the New York Times to talk about my journey and my book. And people told me I couldn't do it, but I did it. And I'm feeling really great. And also this week, to share with you, I will be named the spokesperson for the Act Active Minds organization, which is um, really just opening the conversation of mental health on campuses. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. It was a young lady named um, Allison Malman. She was at Penn University. Her brother was at Colum Columbia in New York City. He's a part of, he was like a 3.4 student, excellent academic, good family, involved in all types of extracurricular activities, and he committed suicide. She was so upset that there was no resources on campus, nowhere for him to turn, that she started the Act of Minds organizations in 2002, and now is this, I think it's like uh, 11 years, 12 years later, it's over 300 chapters on campuses throughout the USA. So it gives me the opportunity now to go around to different colleges and speak to the students, really engage with them and to find out because it's such a stigma attached to mental health. You know, people want to say that they're crazy, but we all have somebody in our family that is dealing with some stuff. And instead of always saying, writing it off as this person being crazy, we need to you know, educate ourselves and to offer a helping hand. So today, that's what I wanted to share. I know you guys thought I was probably going to talk about uh, jump shots and, <laughs> and um, scoring all these points, but, you know, I made some amazing shots and I've um, traveled the world, you know, playing basketball and did a lot for, for my family, but nothing feels as good as the work that I'm doing now because I'm touching lives. And I know Coach Summit. When I was younger, I remember this conversation. We were walking down, I think we were walking down my street. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, I remember you were telling me, you know, how, you know, always host club, you gotta be a leader. And I said, Coach Summit, man, you heard Charles Barkley said, man, I'm not a role model. I don't wanna be a role model. And you said, Meek, let me tell you something. People love you. People love what you're about. You have the opportunity to impact lives. And just like my grandmother used to tell me the same thing, and I always thought it was through my talent. I was like, man, they're talking about my basketball skills because I can do all these things. But I realized that the greatest impact that I'm making is by using my voice. And of course, that voice wouldn't be here without having you done those amazing things on the court. So I just want to really thank um, Coach Summit and and her staff, um, even though I didn't play for like Dean and, and Deidre, you know, it was Mickey and Holly. Um, I thank you for always, always being supportive and all of you, my Tennessee family, because people counted me out. They threw me on the side of the road and all those people was cheering, they were like, oh my gosh, she's crazy, she's all these things. And I know sometimes it wasn't easy. I know Coach Summit, she is like, oh my God, like Meek, um, okay, I'm here for you. <laughs> but, she, but she was always there. And that's the key. It's like a, a parent and a child. A parent might not always agree with what their child's going to do, but they, they don't leave them. They try to stick by their size. And, you know, my grandmother, when she saw on you, she was right. 
You the bomb. <laughs>